Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss hill climbing search algorithm in artificial intelligence. I will also discuss the advantages and disadvantages of uh, hill climbing with a simple numerical example. In hill climbing, the basic idea is to always head towards a state which is better than the current state. For example, if you are uh, present at a particular uh, state, uh, in heat climbing, what we do is uh, we will try to go to a state which is better than the current state. So that is what the basic idea in this case. Uh, for example, uh, let us assume that uh, uh, you are present at the town A and uh, you want to go to town D in this case. Let us say that uh, in between we have uh, two more towns that is uh, B and C. Now the question is uh, should I go to B and then uh, D or should I go to C and then D? That is what the question here. So I have to make a decision something like this uh, by looking at the future uh, uh, the distance. Uh, I should select B if it is uh, towards uh, more towards uh, D rather than uh, C or I have to select C if it is more towards D rather than B in this case. So based on this particular assumption we will select uh, the intermediate return and then finally we go to D in this case. So that is, this is the hill climbing uh, search algorithm. First, we need to evaluate the initial state or you can say that the start state. If the initial state is the goal state, then we need to return that particular thing. Otherwise, uh, we need to continue with the initial state as the current state. So sometimes what happens is uh, the initial state and the goal state may be same. So in that case, we need to return it immediately. Otherwise, we need to consider the initial state as uh, current state and then continue this algorithm. In the second step what we do is uh, loop until the solution is found or until there is uh, no operator to be applied in the current state. So there are two possible cases are there. Uh, either we may get a solution that is uh, we can reach the goal state or uh, we, we don't have any operator to apply on the current state so that we can go to the goal state. So what we need to do is uh, we have to perform this A and B steps continuously unless and until this, any one of these conditions is satisfied. Now in, the, in this particular step what we do is uh, we select an operator so that we can go from current state to the next state. So once you go to this particular next state we need to evaluate this particular next state because we were currently present at the current state. We have applied an operator and then we went to the new state here. Now we need to evaluate this particular new state. If this new state is a goal state, we need to return it and say that uh, the algorithm has successfully reached the goal state. If it is not a goal state, but it is better than the current state, that is uh, it is better than current state in the sense uh, if I go to this particular new state, I will be able to reach the goal state. If that is the case, this new state will be made as a current state here. If this uh, new state is not better than the current state, we will consider the current state itself as the current state and then we will continue with this particular loop. That is we will identify one more uh, new state and then uh, we will apply the same. So this is how uh, the hill climbing uh, search algorithm uh, looks like. Now uh, we will see uh, what are the drawbacks of uh, hill climbing uh, search algorithm. There are mainly three drawbacks of uh, uh, hill climbing algorithm we have. The first one is something called as uh, local maxima. Uh, it is a state where we will reach the local maximum but actually this is not the solution. The solution is actually here but once you reach this particular local maximum if you apply any operator we will get the minimum values here. So we will think that this is a solution but actually it is not a solution here. The second one is the plateaus. Uh, this is the area of search where uh, we will get uh, what you can say that the same answer for all possible moves. You can see here, if I if I try to calculate the values for different moves, I will get the same value. So it's very difficult to reach this particular goal state here. And the last one is the ridge uh, where there are steep slopes are there. And uh, we will go towards this particular steep slopes rather than reaching this particular goal state here. So these are the different uh, drawbacks uh, of this particular hill climbing algorithm we have. Now what we do here is, uh, uh, whenever we get such kind of things like uh, we get local maxima, plateaus or ridge, uh, we have to use one simple technique to avoid this particular, uh, I can say that a drawbacks. That is uh, a random restart hill climbing. The meaning of this one is rather than starting at one initial state, we have to start at multiple number of initial states and then 
calculate the we can say that uh, the goal state and the one which will give you the maximum value that you can consider as a uh, the path here so that's the best uh, solution here so rather than considering only one initial state that is if i consider one as the initial state i will get this one if i consider two again i will get this one if i consider three i may not get because it's on a flat surface or the plateaus if i consider four five six i will get this as a maximum state so if you do this particular thing on multiple number of uh, initial states we will get the better solution in this case now uh, we will try to understand uh, the disadvantages of uh, the hill climbing algorithm if i consider the local information or if i consider the global information how it works for example uh, if i consider the local information that is uh, we try to decide what to do next by looking only at the intermediate or you can say that the immediate consequences uh, such a, such a decision is called as uh, or such information is called as local information but if i make such kind of things uh, i may end up with something called as a local optimum uh, i may not be able to get what you can say that the global optimum in that case uh, if if i use global information uh, uh, i may end up with what you can say that or i will definitely end up with what is that called the global optimum uh, here uh, rather than considering just immediate consequences we will consider uh, the heuristic function uh, this heuristic function will uh, consider all uh, possible or you can say the future consequences also so we'll take an example to understand this local information and uh, global information uh, how these two things will work over here uh, let us take this example uh, this is a start state where there are four blocks are there a b c d uh, this is a start state and this is how actually we are expecting these particular blocks to sit uh, a should be at the bottom on the top of a there should be b on the top of b we are expecting c on the top of c we are expecting d here now uh, what we do is we will consider both uh, the information local information as well as the global information and then we will see how to uh, use this part of information to solve this particular uh, problem here first we will start with uh, local heuristic function or a local information uh, what we do is uh, we will give a plus one reward for each block that is resting on the thing it is supposed to be resting on for example what we are expecting is b should rest on a c should rest on b and uh, d should rest on uh, c and a should be present on the ground so that is what we are expecting here so if that is the case we will give plus one for each block if it is not we will give minus one for each block for example if you consider the source if you look at this particular thing uh, the block b here b is present on what we can say that uh, uh, the ground but actually what we are expecting is we are expecting a on the ground so we will give minus one for this one uh, plus one will be given for c because c is present on b we are expecting the same thing here uh, d is present on c we are expecting the same thing here so it will be given plus one and uh, a should be present on ground but it is present on what you can say d here so it will be given minus one so the total value of this particular start state is zero here now if i go to this particular goal state uh, a is expected on uh, ground so it will be plus one it will be plus one here this will be plus one and this is also plus one so the total value of this uh, goal state is four in this case so we should start at zero and then we will we should end up at four so that is what the main thing here now we will try to apply one operator at a time uh, let us say that i will bring this particular a to the ground if that is the case what will happen is uh, for a uh, we will get uh, uh, the plus one b i will get minus one because uh, b should be present on a but it is present on ground now so for c i will get uh, plus one for d i will get plus one because uh, c is present on b and it is expected d is present on d again it is expected here total value of this thing will be uh, two because uh, one plus one plus uh, one minus one is equal to two here now let us say that at this particular state uh, i will do one more uh, move that is uh, d will be placed on a that is a one possibility d can be placed on the ground these are the two possibilities so if i place d on the ground uh, this is how actually it looks like if i place d on a this is how actually it looks like and uh, a is uh, present at the current correct position c is present at the correct position so both one both will be given uh, the plus one here uh, b and d are incorrectly placed so they will be given minus one so the total value is how much the zero here 
Similarly, A is present on uh, correct position, so it will be plus 1. C will be given plus 1. This will be minus 1 and this is minus 1. Hence, the total value is 0 here. Now, if you look at this uh, result, it looks like a plateau because we are getting, uh, for both these particular states, we are getting 0, 0 answer here. So, this is a uh, disadvantage of hill climbing. Uh, if I use what is that called as uh, the local uh, information. Now, I will show you if I use the global information, how can I solve this particular uh, issue? Again, we use the same thing. Uh, this is the start state and this is the goal state. Now, the global heuristic function or global information is for each block that has the correct support structure. We don't just consider the block present just below the current block. We consider the support structure. We give plus 1 to every block in the support structure if it is correctly placed. For each block that is a wrong support structure, we will give minus 1 for every block. Take an example here. Again, we are expecting uh, A, B, C, D. This is what the expectation here. Now, B is expected to be present on what we can say that uh, uh, below B, what is there, we just consider here. Below B, uh, nothing is present. So, what we do here is uh, we will consider it as uh, 0 here. And uh, for C, uh, what we do is uh, uh, below C, how many are incorrectly placed blocks are there? B is the only block which is incorrectly placed. So, we will put it as minus 1. Below D, B and C, both of them are incorrectly placed. So, we will put minus 2 for this one. Below A, all three are incorrectly placed. So, we will put minus 3 for this one. So, the total value of this particular initial state is minus 6 here. Now, when it comes to this side, uh, you can see here, A is correctly, um, this is below A, we don't have anything, so we will put 0 here. Below A, B, uh, A is correctly placed, so we will put it as 1. Below C, A and B are correctly placed, so it is 2. Below D, A, B, C are correctly placed, it is 3. So, total value of the target uh, or a goal is 6 in this case. So, we should start at minus 6 and uh, we should end up with uh, what we can say that plus 6 over here. Now, we will try to move these particular blocks uh, uh, from the initial state so that we can uh, reach this particular goal state here. So, one option what we can do here is uh, we will move this particular A to this particular ground. So, if that is the case, uh, below B we don't have anything. So, it will be 0. Below C we have 1 B. It is incorrectly placed. So, it is minus 1. Below D we have C and B. Both of them are incorrectly placed. So, it is minus 2. And uh, below A, we don't have anything, so it will be 0 here. So, the total value of this particular state is minus 3 in this case. Similarly, below B, we don't have anything, so it will be 0. Below C, we have B. B is incorrectly placed because uh, we are expecting B to be present on A. So, it will be minus 1. Similarly, for A, we have 0. For D, we have minus 1. So, the value is minus 2 in this case. For this particular state, uh, we can say that uh, we get minus 1 in this case. So, if you compare these two things, then, uh, like moving D on the ground or B uh, D on A, so this will be the best option here. But uh, in the previous case, if I consider the local information, I was getting same value. But here, I am not getting the same value. So, this is a minimum, so I should go with this one. Uh, not minimum, it is a maximum, so I will consider this particular state. Now, uh, there is one uh, thing I can do, uh, like uh, I will move this particular C to either on A or D or on a ground. So, on ground is a better, op better option. So, uh, the same process will be applied unless and until I will get what you can say that the uh, the goal state over here. So, what, what is the very important thing uh, we should remember here is uh, uh, if I use the global uh, information, so definitely I will be able to solve that particular problem uh, rather than uh, considering the local information. Uh, the same thing has been uh, represented in this particular diagram over here. In this diagram, the entire process has been uh, marked here. Uh, like uh, we have started with this particular initial state and then we have ended up with uh, what we can say that the goal state. So, I will solve this particular problem one more time uh, in the another video. Uh, the link for that video will be placed in the description. If you want, you can go through that particular video so that you can understand how this particular uh, the entire numerical is uh, solved. If you like this video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग